This uh, last quadratic that's in standard form, uh, it's so simple that, it, that it's difficult. Uh, and, and people find a, a, lot of, a lot of problems in this one. First of all, when we're trying to find the y-intercept, we tend to look to the last term. But I never told you it was the last term. I always told you it was the constant. And in this case, there is no constant out here. Um, so that should mean something to us. The other thing is that in order to find the y-intercept, we usually let x equal 0. So if I just plug in 0 everywhere that there's an x, so right here, and for 4x, four I'll plug in a 0. 2 times 0 squared and 4 times 0, they're both 0. And when I add two zeros together, I get 0. That means that the y-intercept is at 0. As far as the x-intercepts go, I just plotted a y-intercept on the x-axis, so I bet you that 0 is going to be at least one of the uh, x-intercepts. There may be another one. Now, how do we find the x-intercept? We let the y equal 0. So I'm going to take that negative 2x squared plus 4x and set that equal to 0. Now, the big error that I see a lot of people make is they start bringing that 4x to the other side and square rooting and stuff like that, and you just can't do that. It screws it all up. What you have to do is factor. So I'm going to take out the common factor of negative 2x out of each of those terms. When I divide negative 2x squared by negative 2x, I'm left with an x. And when I take that negative 2x out of positive 4x and divide it out, so the x divided by x, that's gone, and the plus 4 divided by negative 2 leaves me with minus 2. Then we have our two um, zeros. That's going to happen when negative 2x is equal to 0. So that would mean that x equals 0. Or something we're more familiar with, this x minus 2 equals 0, would mean that x equals positive 2. I've already plotted that, that one x-intercept that I already thought was going to happen, that 0. My other one is at positive 2, so 1, 2. Uh, next, for the vertex, we can go through the same thing that we've done before, where we set x equal to negative b over 2a. Uh, in this case, b is 4, and uh, a is negative 2. So we'll have negative 4 over negative 4, which is 1. And the thing about that is the vertex is always going to happen halfway between our two x-intercepts. So we already know that the axis of symmetry was going to be at x equals 1. To find the y-coordinate, we just take that 1 and plug it back into the, into the quadratic. So negative 2x squared plus 4x, let x equal 1. That'll be negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. Between these two, we have our ordered pair of our vertex at 1, 2. So 1, 2. There's that point. This is truly the minimum number of points we need to be able to see where the uh, parabola lies. And it's going to turn at the vertex and then go through our two intercepts. And there's a very good parabola.